age-old question. The internet's asking. They've been asking for a decade. I'm here to answer it, ladies and gentlemen. In and Out Burger versus Five Guys Burger. Who is the fast food king? In this corner, in the white trunks, with the home court advantage, the home field advantage, the overdog, the California king, we have in and out Burger. Estimated since 1948, established, not estimated, established, 1948, in and out Burger. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a fan of Joe Rogan, and you guys have been hearing all over the internet, podcasts, this and that, the keto diet. I don't really care about diets. I'm here to eat a burger, but for the sake of the video, we went with the identical burger. I grabbed a burger, double cheeseburger from both spots, protein style, meaning no bun, wrapped in lettuce, keeping those carbs down. We're trying to look jacked and swole while we enjoy and go on a wonderful, miraculous, palatable adventure together, you and I. Cheese, meat, tomato, light ketchup, onion, smushed together, layered like a beautiful layered cake of meat, meaty protein. And in this corner, in the brown bag, and I'm not talking about drinking alcohol illegally, we have five guys, slightly larger version, slightly more world renowned. Let's dig in. We talk about our wrapping, they already have it nicely prepped with a double layer wrap for you to be able to enjoy one end popping out, but not get your hands messy. The Five Guys Burger is slightly larger. This is a little bit more petite version of it. I believe it's about 30 to 40 grams of fat, 30 grams of protein. Our Five Guys, our counterpart, the underdog, is around 50 grams of protein and around 55, 60 grams of fat. So a little bit more hefty of a burger. First off, when you're going in here, I don't like the jungle of lettuce I have to dig through to get to my burger. Sometimes, if you have the lucky server at In-N-Out, I feel like they chop this lettuce. I need it chopped. I need I need the ratio. When I when I go to bite, all you get is lettuce in your face. I need, I need the ratio of cheese, a burger, ketchup. Don't over ketchup my shit. I don't want a soggy burger of tomato juice. That's basically what ketchup is. You can't have tomato and tomato juice. You need a little bit of ketchup just to, just to wet the palate, let it slide down, but I need this lettuce to get out of my fucking face before I can put this in my mouth. You know, I feel like In-N-Out's a decent burger. I've had In-N-Out before. You know, this isn't the first time I've had In-N-Out, but the internet is so wild about In-N-Out, purely, I think, just from the mystery factor. You know, if there's unicorns running all around town, no one would give a fuck that a horse had a horn on its nose anymore. No one would care. All right, they'd think it's a skinny rhino and no one will give a fuck. It's literally just because it's in California and the rest of the world thinks, oh my God, I'm gonna go to California so I can go hang out with Mickey Mouse at Disneyland and eat In-N-Out Burger and my life's all gonna be fine and dandy after that. Well, guess what? It's still just a burger and Disneyland is just a theme park. You could also go to Florida. Look. I like the fresh crispy lettuce. It has a little bit of texture and it allows you not to get your hands dirty. The bun is useless, I do agree. We don't need that bun, get that bun out of here. What In-N-Out does well, the patties taste like meat. That's a beautiful thing when you're going fast food. You know, I, I, we call these both fast food even though In-N-Out does have a drive through Five Guys does not, but pure meat, a meaty taste, when it tastes like steak in your mouth, it's delicious. Two pieces of American cheese, they're melted perfectly. Sometimes they're a little bit raw. I don't like a hard cheese. You need it melted. You want it dripping down the side of your burger. In and out does that very well. Tomato, fresh. It's a fresh tomato. Now again, when we're categorizing things, we start to rank things. Everything has its place. If you're talking about a $30 burger from a steakhouse, we can't compare that to this little protein style piece of dinky dinky I got for $4 on the drive through But when you're talking about having a nice burger that tastes like meat, it doesn't taste like plastic. It would probably go bad. You know, you go to McDonald's, you grab this burger, that meat's gonna last you 10 years, 10 years in my stomach or 10 years in my toilet. This thing is real meat, it will rot. So this is, that's high quality already. We're putting in the category of fast food. We're putting in the category of that keto, low carb, no bun diet. We got some fresh veggies on here. An overall taste, you know, the creativity is low, but that's the beauty of a burger. We know what it is, when you say burger, Everyone understands meat, cheese, bun, maybe no bun, maybe lettuce, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of veggies involved. Overall, the ratios are clean. It's cooked well. We're going seven out of eight on the fast food, burger, keto, bunless, in and out, California only scale. We're talking about the anabolic scale. You know what we're talking about because we're always trying to make gains out here. It's almost an eight out of eight. We got high fat, 
raise that testosterone, a little bit of protein, pretty satiating, makes you feel pretty full. You grab two of these things, Diet Coke, off to the gym, off to the shitter as well, probably just clean you right out, you know? The underdog. It's also the dark horse and, 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 and mystery in my mind. I feel like it's not as popular out here in California. in and outs the go-to. I probably only had five guys a handful of times, and I don't think I've ever had it. Protein style, no bun, lettuce only. Let's dig in. I like the tin foil. It makes me feel that it's fresh. They wrapped it toy. They wrapped it absolutely tight. So although the convenience of the half-wrapped in and out allows early access to the burger with no hassle, no, no, no smudge on your fingers, this one is nicely concealed. You don't even know what it is. It looks like your mom could have made it. I kind of like that. It kind of, you pull it out of the brown bag. It's like, here little Timmy, have a great day at school. And I like that. Cause then you open it and the, and the story continues. The story continues, you got a tin foil, pull it out and you're at lunch with your kids, you know? You're at all the buddies. Johnny's over here, Stephanie's across the table. She's winking at you, but she doesn't really want. So you're gonna slip her a note, say, hey, you want to date me? Yes, no, check box. You know, you remember those days, right? You got a juice box, you got a milk, 2% milk. And I, I got Oreos, I got Oreos and you got Doritos and we're gonna trade one for one. Yeah, I'll trade you one Oreo for three Doritos, you know? Huh, huh, you do that all day. That's what it feels like. All right, so I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind on the wrapping. You unwrap it and now you have nothing to grab. That's kind of the issue here. So you unwrap and now and now where do we go? Now where do we go? What's, in and out tells you how to eat the burger. You know, we're not all the brightest. And, and when, I'm, when I'm here at lunch, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, make a plan of attack before I go in. I want, I want, you open that wrapper in the in and out and it just tells you hold here. It doesn't have to say hold here. It just tells you to hold here. Now, now it literally looks like they took half a half a head of lettuce and just threw a patty in there. Already skeptical on, on, the, on the move I make. I I am here to be served, right? You go to a restaurant to be served. I could have made this at home, but I, I come to be served. Now I'm going to have to create my handle. Watch, watch. This is I've never done this, but I just know what I'm doing, you know. And the only way I know how to do this is is because in and out. Maybe they're the king. You got to do one of these now. You know. And for some of you guys, like, Mike, get over it. Just just wrap it half of it. No, 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 no. You're serving me. This is supposed to be made, you know? And I, I don't like the spine either. I don't like the spine either. What's everybody yelling at me? You know, I'm out here trying to review a burger. You know, these guys are just wiling out. You know, what? what is this, public? Stream snipers. Get, you guys trying to be in the video. You trying to be in the video. I don't like the spine of lettuce. I think this should be eliminated from any burger option. It just adds a weird texture. Again, the floppy lettuce, it's not really fitting. Five guys should probably send me a commission check in the mail. I'm gonna have to do half the work for them. Now let's dig in. Let's see what we get. First bite there, once I once once I modified the lettuce on the in and out, the first bite was perfect texture, right? You want a little bit of everything, right? You want a little bit of everything in every bite you get. Let's see what we get. Now my assumptions were correct. The spine of the lettuce is too much lettuce. It, 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 lettuce doesn't have that much flavor. It's just mostly water, right? It's water and fiber, but it's just too much in your mouth. I couldn't even taste the meat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate this thing and we're gonna dig into the side to give it, a, give it a, a fair share. But that first bite, first first bite, my assumptions correct, in and out wins that first bite. But I'm just trying to find this patty, you know? You know, if you gotta hunt through a jungle of veggies to find a patty, is it really a burger anymore? The answer's probably no. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're cooking with gas. The patty cheese combo itself from Five Guys is is actually actually the perfect ratio. It's actually the perfect ratio. In and out, you have probably a, 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 a two to one. Say there's thirds, right? One third is probably cheese. Two thirds is probably burger. This is probably one fourth cheese. Three fourths. I'm looking for a sculpture of ground, beautifully ground meat packed together tightly and lightly fried on the grill. And that's what Five Guys absolutely nails. Where they're lacking, the dark horse, you're lacking in this lettuce thing. I, I don't, you put it, you put it in a snow globe. You put it in a snow globe of, of lettuce and I gotta shake it up and, and get it out of my face just to get to the part I actually want. What is that? You know what I mean? Like, what is that? Now, now look at it. You're, you're lucky 
you're lucky your burger itself is so delicious because this is the ugliest thing that I would ever pay for. Look, again, scaling it out. We're talking about fast food. This this technically is a level up because there's no drive through here. Five Guys is a level up from in and out. We're comparing them for you, for the internet. The flavor of the burger, the ratio of veggies to burger of taste is absolutely 10 out of 11. It's delicious. It's it, it, it's a better burger. It's it, the, the burger the burger itself. We're talking creativity again. We're on the same scale. Do the, the, the exact same thing. Erase the bun. Put a little bit of lettuce sandwich. The issue is, is that In-N-Out took the bunless, the protein style, the lettuce, to another level, and they actually made a sandwich out of lettuce. Five Guys literally just chopped a head of lettuce and put it there. Or, or they literally just removed the bun. That's not how it goes. In-N-Out leveled up. And in everything in life, we, what we need to do, you take a concept and you level it up, and that's how you succeed. That's how all we do is win. Win, 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 win. <laughs> Beef steak flavor. Cheese ratio. Point. Ding! Five Guys creativity leveling up leveling up taking an idea and making it better in and out Bing. anabolic scale I told you the fat ratio to protein ratio on both even now we're gonna spend another five hours thinking about what our tiebreaker is price oh but you get more beefier if you're talking pure price I think in and out burgers about four bucks about four dollar burger this five guys is about an eight dollar burger I don't know if you get double the burger from it. I don't know if you get double the burger from it. I feel like if you're gonna go double the burger, you get double the meat. If you're gonna double my price, you have to double my palate adventure. And I don't think you do it, Five Guys. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. You're locking it in. With a score of 28, 29, in and out. A score of 29, 28, five guys. With the score of 29, 28, and new keto lettuce wrapped burger champion of the world, In and Out Burger. All things considered, <clears throat> I like to spend money on things that I like, and I like to be frugal when I can. And so if I'm going into this personally, I'm digging into this world, I'm probably going with the Five Guys Burger. I'm probably gonna spend the extra couple dollars. But if you're balling on a budget, and look man, don't hate the play, I hate the game, I don't judge you. You might wanna go with the in and out because of the leveling up creativity, because of the drive-through convenience, and because the anabolic scale is nearly the same, you could get almost two burgers for the same price of one. That's more protein per dollar. And you know that's what we're about. Protein gains, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to leave a comment below what food you want us to discover, to invest, to gate. Leave a comment below what food you want us to discover, what food you want us to investigate next. What's your biggest food question here on the planet? We'll travel anywhere. Appreciate you guys. Salam Mike, I'm out of here.